bull's nose ring, which detects the cow's mood, but it also monitors the health at the same time. What we're working on is word association AI. I'm designing a glamping trailer tent. It has smart glass integrated within it. My project is smart bird boxes that you can place in parks and green spaces around cities. A module evaluation chatbot, but we're hoping to have some kind of speech recognition. Designing for people with disabilities who aren't able to be mobile independently. And I developed the baby bump monitor. I'm a visiting lecturer, so I come at least once a month to meet my students in either product design or computer science. You could, you could make it work really easily. No soldering, no coding, just pulling uh, graphical user interface modules onto a screen, onto a desktop. Yeah, we're working with Jason Bradbury on a project called Unconventional Materials. And basically we're learning about new materials and how we can adapt them to new technologies. It opens up opportunities that working with Jason to really fully engage with technology at its cutting edge best. The fact that you could pick any technology and any scenario, that really helped. So straight away I knew the scenario I wanted to do. And then being able to have Jason enabled us to think about more technologies. Jason's very interested in artificial intelligence and how AI is shaping the world and technology. So we thought we'd bring in AI as a, as a main theme into the brief. So the main idea that we have to reach is for us to pass the Turing test or at least attempt to. So if you didn't know, the Turing test is to try and convince someone that they're talking, instead of an AI, they're talking to an actual human. Well, it started with the phrase, the computer science brief, my AI ate my homework. It evolved into a Turing test of sorts. What we decided to try and do was, was to see if we could use code to hoodwink unsuspecting punters. This is the closest I've ever got to owning a, a hoverboard. It's a beautiful piece of design. They've used traditional skateboard material. They've used aluminium. They didn't make it round. I don't know why. The benefit Jason brings is the fact that he's been in industry for quite a number of years now, at the forefront of, of technology and driving technology. I see him as really motivated, I see him as really energetic, but I also see the breadth of experience he's got as really important to the students. He's a kind of conduit into those technological areas. It's nice to get a different perspective on it and when he gave it his first lecture, giving different ideas of what we could do, some of them were pretty out there. <laughs> I love that you've designed a Lego clutch bag. I never thought I would say those two words together. Because he's got a different outlook to the tutors, he like, can see how it can work commercially, how it can be attractive to certain markets. Obviously being quite challenging in terms of technology based, but it's been really interesting to give it from an industry perspective that this technology could genuinely be used and the products could genuinely be sold in the future as well. He's given me some contacts to call up, should be able to get hold of some of the technology that is currently kind of quite hard to get hold of. His different perspective, his opinions, has changed the way that we're looking at things for the better. Having Jason there with technical guidance obviously has been invaluable. The passion he has and the drive to, I suppose, get you to think about the project in a potentially bigger way than you initially thought of it makes this turn from a university project to something that actually could be real life. It shows you where you could be in the future, like it gives you inspiration, like it's not a dream job. There's people doing what you want to do that are right in front of you right now telling you you can do it. So it's kind of like inspiring. One young guy just nonchalantly showed a design and he'd made this, he'd actually made it. And I could instantly see the market for it. I could, I could literally, if I had the money to invest, I would invest in that idea. I was thinking, oh my God. <laughs> These are saleable, monetizable, tangible ideas. Some really serious work is coming out of this university and that trend is only going to continue. Bringing in people like Jason, they're, they're more well known and they have some influence on a lot of areas. For the university it's a fantastic opportunity, for us it's an even better opportunity and I think personally that the university should definitely continue trialling this and hopefully make it into a, a definite thing that they continue. Thank you.